Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to the channel here for... Well, it was originally going to be a reaction video to the Lord Raz at Shadow Dojo clip that was posted onto LEGO's YouTube channel. The original plan was to do what I did for the teaser and just react to it. But for some reason, whenever I go to actually record it and react to it, the audio just keeps getting really, really messed up. And I have no idea why. I've tried to re-record it twice, but things just aren't going my way. So sometimes, as Nia did in Season 5 Possession, sometimes you just have to go with the flow. And so I wanted to change things today because I really, really wanted wanted to talk about this clip. I'm talking about the clip in which we see Lord Raz and also Jordana, his kind of like servant at this point, going through the Forest of Spirits, where they were going to their quote-unquote destination, which was some form of temple. And this clip, let's just say, has been doing the absolute rounds within the Ninjago community recently, because of course it reveals something very, very interesting, that being the fact that the wildness has multiple different locations. I'll let Lord Raz do the talking on that one, though. Diamond glaciers, the forever rock, boiling beach, and here, the forest of spirits. And of course, the biggest takeaway there is the fact that Lord Raz mentions that the forever rock is one of the locations found within the wildness. Up until this point, we have only ever seen the, uh, the lava pools, as Jordana mentioned towards the beginning of the clip, and that was in episode 14 and 15 mainly, I believe although I could be a little bit wrong on that, could be getting things a little bit mixed up, but kind of off topic. But yeah, that was like the only location we have seen. The home of the lava tides, essentially. That was all we had seen. Obviously, now we've seen this mysterious forest, which is also a location within the wildness, but the Forever Rock is very interesting. Just to clarify here, I have actually seen Legends of Chima. Obviously, you know, the TV show, the Lego TV show released in 2013. But for some reason, I just have forgotten everything about it. I watched it in 2019, but I, I just seems to have forgotten everything about it. And um, the Forever Rock... When I first watched the clip, it didn't ring any bells for me until I went onto Twitter where everything suddenly made a lot more sense because the Forever Rock is one of the locations in, well, the realm of Chima, which just confirms that Chima is actually a region of the wildness, which is just so, so insane to me. I just find that mind-blowing, and it's been a few days now since the time of um, me recording today's clip. It's been a few days since I... Uh, since it came out, and I just still find that so shocking, so, so mind-blowing. But yeah, that just confirms that Raz is actually from Chima. It's just insane. This whole clip was so incredible, in my opinion. It was exactly a minute long, I do believe, but the fact that it's just, like, answered so many questions for us, obviously the main one being the whole Chima thing, and the fact that it's also left us with even more questions, man, to me, that's just insane. Um, the big question I have leaving this clip, as I was just alluding to, was the fact that, um, well, Raz never really mentioned what the temple was. Jordana and Raz got to this big mysterious temple in the middle of the Forest of Spirits, and Jordana went to ask Raz what it actually is, right? As you would. And Raz just said, it's our destination, or something similar to that. Something of that nature, right? And I just think that's crazy, because we truly have no idea what's going on. Now, a small theory, and a pretty obvious one, to be honest, that I have, is that this is going to be where Lord Raz gets the gong of shattering from. I mean, we've seen it in the sets, and also the fact that there wasn't a blood moon in the sky in this particular clip means that this probably happens very early on in the next season, season two, probably in, like, episode one or something, where Lord Raz is going to this temple to get to the gong of shattering to control this big wolf army and to make the red moon well red of course i think that's probably what's going to be happening and i just think that's really really cool i have a feeling that this temple is also going to hold a much more interesting plot point to it just considering how grand and menacing it looks i just think it's really really cool but all things considered if i was to like go ahead and put an actual rating on, on this, this clip i would probably just say it's like a solid 10 out of 10 it really couldn't have done much more for us as fans I think this was like the perfect clip from the new episodes to post onto their YouTube channel at this point, just to build even more hype. We had the teaser, which was cool, but ultimately didn't reveal too much. And now we have this clip that's just like full force showing us so much, while also giving us even more questions and leaving things even more mysterious than they were originally. But with all of this being said, that's going to conclude things here when it comes to my rambling on this clip. Pretty annoying that I couldn't do just like a full reaction, but it is what it is, I guess. I had to sum up my thoughts this way. Hopefully you enjoyed it, though. If you did, please do feel free to support me in any way possible. Any likes, any subscribes, any turnings on of the post notification bell, any comments down below, all really help me out and help push me into the YouTube algorithm more and more. Trust me, your guys' support does not go unnoticed. Take it easy, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Again, take it easy. See you soon. So, goodbye.